Welcome to another episode of Remember the Great Sports. Um, this will be a Terran Pax episode. If you recall from a few pickup videos ago, I bought this University of Texas box for only five bucks at a local card shop. And there's eight cards per pack and ten packs per box. And I've actually bought a few boxes like this in the past. I've bought a University of Notre Dame box, similar to that, and that's football, excuse me. And I've also bought a North Carolina basketball box like that from that same similar set. There are other sets out there, um, I just haven't come across them, for cheap at least. Uh, I would say for the North Carolina boxes, I paid $10, and the Notre Dame one, same. Um, I've bought a couple of these Texas ones already. You may have seen some of the cards out of the set already in some of my other videos. I've gotten uh, through the mail returns out of this set, and I've also gotten... Um, or I also shot a video with how to prep your cards out of cards from this set because you need to baby powder them or prep them before you get them autographed. So the cool thing is is you get one national championship pennant inside and you get one of those sorry about the glare there one of those four pennants inside this box. Uh, there are I believe autographs but they are randomly inserted. You're not guaranteed any. Let's see. I was just trying to read the fine print there to see if there was anything indicating autograph odds, but there aren't. Uh, I will say out of the two boxes that I have bought previous to this one, so this would be my third box, I have never pulled an autograph, but I have pulled an autograph out of this box. So they do exist. And that's PAC certified autographs. So let me rip this cellophane off and get the, some packs and I may cut the video just a little bit as I'm tearing this so you don't have to hear me doing it. Alright, so you got the paper off and I open the top of the box here. And as you can see there are some sealed packs and stuck in that corner at a diagonal is a mini pennant from the 1963 national champion Texas Longhorns. And the cool thing is, is this hook'em, I actually had a uh, alumni from the championship, uh, I don't know if he was on the 63 team, I want to say he was on the 70 team, that actually inscribed my cards hook'em on every card that he that he sent back to me and wrote me a nice letter so uh, I don't know if that video is posted yet but if not I'll put a link down in the description so let me go ahead and pull the box to the side here and I will sit down and we will open these packs and see what we get up ah, let's see here still no odds on the back of the pack and these these are from 2011 so Let's go through this really quick. I'll try to open them up as fast as I can so I don't bore you too much. And we will go from there. So we'll put the uh, national pennant there so we can look at that. And you guys know how I am about collecting my pennants. So I'm going to rip them off screen then I will show you the cards that I pull out of each pack. That way I don't bump the camera and make a mess of things. So the first pack has... Johnny Johnson, there's a Monumental Moment, Marty Akins, Jamal Charles, two Jamal Charles, Bobby Lunch, and Happy Feller. So no, no autographs out of that one. So the next pack. Brian Westbrook, Aaron 
Williams, Vince Young, Eric Metcalf, there's a good one, Ricky Williams, I wonder what Ricky's up to nowadays, I remember he was supposed to be in the next great whatever in the NFL, Eddie Phillips, Monumental Moments, not sure what that is, 1943, and Bobby Dillon, Alright, so no autographs there. Alright, we got Cotton Spire, Russell McSbellin, another Vince Young, Bob Atessis. There's a dual card with James Street and Darren Royal, which I don't think either of them are still alive. Jim Bertelson, Brian Jones, and Terry Tausch. So, so far, nothing. Alright, Bill Hamilton, Eric Metcalf, Major Applewhite. That's one of the best names ever. <laughs> I, did, I, I remember watching him play and I thought, well, what kind of name is that? That's cool. Earl Campbell, obviously one of the greatest ever to play for the Longhorns. Mac Brown, their coach. Another monumental moment. And the Dan Neal. So, not looking good for autographs, my friends. But that's not what this box is about. It's, it was five bucks. What do you expect? It's kind of the way I look at it. For ten bucks. So Mike Cotton, Shea Morenz. A uh, little known fact, Shea Morenz actually played minor league baseball. Being I'm a huge baseball fan, that's why I know that. So I may, I may try to track down Shea. Because he's a dual sport guy. Earl Campbell again. There's a major Apple White. Peter Gardier, don't know Peter, Brad Scherer, Scherer, there's a triple card, I've actually sent to Steve Worster and I got a return to sender, I had a bad address on him, so I might have to try to look him up again, and there's Ted Coy, I've gotten Ted back through the mail before, and Kerry Cash. And if you haven't seen my Through the Mail Thursday video with some of these guys, I will have them posted eventually. I just don't know if I'm going to post this before those. You know, you know how that goes. But if I do have them posted, I will put a link down in the description for you to check out the autographs. Lamb Jones, Charlie Talbert, Doug English. I seem to know Doug English for some reason. I don't know that name. John Wesley Jones. There's another Marty Exelbrin. Marty Akins. Ha, <laughs> there he is. There you go. The Longhorn himself. That's cool. Can I kill sign through the mail, guys? What do you think? And another Mac Brown. I'm going to try to send some to Matt Brown if he does through the mail. I'm not sure. I have to do a little research on that. Alright, next. Again, like I said, I've opened two of these boxes already and I have not pulled one autograph, so it's not looking too good. Bob McKay. Another Ricky Williams. There's a picture of the stadium. There's a Jamal Charles Wiki Williams. There's a triple with James Brown, Major Applewhite, and Peter Gardier. I don't know if any of those guys sign. Maybe they do. It's going to probably be hard to track down James Brown being such a common name. Knock me out. Yeah. <laughs> Just kidding, guys. Daryl Royal and Brown. So we're down to the last three. So if we're going to get a memorabilia card or an autograph, it better be popping out here soon. So Jamal Charles, Alan Lowry, 
Daryl Royal again. Peter Gardier again. That's about the third one of Peter, so if I can find an address on him, I might send them to him. Oops. Darren Talbert, he played in the NFL for quite a while, actually. About 10 years, if I'm not mistaken. What was he, a lineman? A defensive tackle. Yep. Colt McCoy, remember Colt. Doug Shankle, I don't know Doug. Alright. Mike Bob, Sean Mitchell, another stadium, Johnny Treadwell, don't tread bad but tread well, Bobby Wunsch, Jim Bertelston and Steve Worcester, Scott Henderson, and another James Street. I said I wasn't going to bump the camera, so what do I do? I bump the camera. Alright, final pack, guys. Let's see if we're lucky, but we got a feeling we're not going to be. So, Tillman Holloway, Cotton Spire again. Bill, there's two Bill. I don't know if he signs or not. Might have to. Eddie Phillips. There's the quarterback from the national championship teams. I don't know if Eddie's still around or not. Then Chiang and Brett Stafford. All right, so here's the deal. Um, I didn't get any hits, which kind of stinks, but it was a $5 box, so you kind of get what you pay for, I guess. So my overall analysis, and we'll just stick one of the packs there to look at. My overall analysis is I wouldn't recommend this box unless you truly are a University of Texas fan. You're not going to get any hits most likely. Uh, the only thing that you are guaranteed is one of these mini pennants. So if mini pennants are your thing, that might be something for you to you know collect. But overall, this is the stack that you get, 80 cards for five bucks. I mean, not bad, I guess, if I can get a few of them signed. But again, knowing that you're not going to get any hits, most likely. I'm not saying you won't. I'm just saying most likely you won't get any hits. I've opened a total now of four or five of these boxes. And out of the collegiate collection, out of those four or five, outside of getting mini pennants or banners, I've gotten one autograph out of the five. So your odds of getting an autograph or a memorabilia card are pretty slim when it, it looks like with these products. So you don't see these too often. Uh, these were, you know, like blasters at Walmart or Target many years ago, you know, probably around 2011, 2012. Um, you occasionally see them, like I said, in, you know, old card shops or antique malls and stuff like that. So. You know, again, if you're a University of Texas fan, a Notre Dame fan, or a North Carolina basketball fan, I'd recommend getting a box or two just for the fun of opening some packs. But you're not going to get anything great. You know, you're going to get a lot of base cards. I mean, obviously with North Carolina, you'll get Michael Jordan. You know, Notre Dame, you might pull Joe Montana, um, you know, Tim Brown you know, other Hall of Famers like Paul Horning, but you're probably looking at just base cards if you do. You know, nothing nothing special, nothing that you definitely will say, oh my gosh, this is so worth the five bucks or ten bucks that I spent for it. So, that's my overall assessment of these. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video of Taron Pax. Um, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose, and this one definitely was not a big winner, but Again, you know how I like my mini pennants and my pennants, so happy to have that in the collection. Again, thanks for watching. Um, look forward to doing some more uh, pack opening videos. If you guys enjoy this, comment below. And uh, I'll try to make a few more of these instead of ripping them out, out in the parking lot after I buy them like I do sometimes. Thanks for watching. Bye.